Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are the J Fam. We post all things health, wellness, fitness, travel, lifestyle, so much. Today's video is gonna be kind of a compilation of like three or four days of really setting our intentions, our goals, and just getting ready for this new season of fall. Every season, I really like to set new goals, set new intentions, reflect on the last season, and just figure out how I can move forward the healthiest and the happiest I can be. So that's what this video is gonna be about. It's really just gonna be an all-inclusive wellness vlog of getting ready for fall. So I'm excited to take you guys through it. I do want to say today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly So I'll show like some of my fall favorites for fashion also in this video. That'll be a little bit later I just got dressed right now to go get a quick workout in so that's gonna be the first part We're gonna go down take some pre-workout and get into the split <laughs> months we don't know how long yet but we know we're moving there for a good amount of time and I don't think there's gonna be like a solid gym I can go to so I think my workouts are gonna change a lot we're gonna order hopefully a kettlebell and dumbbells to Hawaii so I'll still be able to lift weights with that but I really want to tap into more Pilates style workouts I want to get flexibility really good and I really want to tap into more types of workouts that you can do from home from vacationing all of that because we are gonna be traveling a lot in the future I really want to learn like the actual form terminology science behind Pilates and like dive deep into that because I've loved the classes that I've gone to. The other thing I've been challenging myself to do, I cannot stand running. So I've been challenging myself to run about a mile every day. And for those of you that do run, that probably sounds like a mile, but y'all don't understand. I feel like an elephant when I'm running. I feel like my body just is like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but I really want something, and I do listen to my body most of the time, but I really want something that'll push me through like mentally through a workout. So I've been adding about one mile to all of my workouts of running outside, and I do it in the form of run walks. So I'll walk for like a song, run for a song walk for two songs, run for a song, that type of thing until it adds up to like a full mile of the running portion. But yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with fitness. I don't have a specific like body goal or physique goal. I just really want to feel good. I want to feel energized. Yeah, just have sustained energy throughout the day, hormonal balance, like I care all about the inward stuff with that. The next thing is the sauna and the cold tub. So Lucas does that pretty much every day. He has a schedule of like sauna and then cold tub back and forth. And he's really good about that. And there's so many benefits for it. I'll put some of them on the screen, but it has gained popularity in the wellness space right now. And I'm learning a lot about it through podcasts. And we have both of them for Lucas and I just rarely use them. I sit in the sauna sometimes after a workout for like 10 minutes, but I want to get into a better habit of like actually using them. So sauna for like 30 minutes and then a quick dip in the cold tub. So yeah, that's little goals and mindset of fitness for the fall time. Again, not much has changed, but there are like a few things that I'm just working towards. Hey guys, so we're taking a pause from the video to do a quick little fall trial and haul from Princess Polly. I've been working with Princess Polly for over a year now and you guys know I'm obsessed with all their pieces. And as much as I love summer, fall fashion is one of my favorites. I love, love, love fall fashion. So I put together a few outfits from their fall pieces and I'm just gonna run you through them. Also wanna quickly note that it ships from within the US and has free express shipping to the US on orders over $50. And Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. My link and code 20 Bryn will be in the description for all the pieces. The size and the name will be on the screen and all the links will be in the description. So without further ado, we'll start with outfit one. This is called the Aiden set. I'm wearing it in green in a size four. It comes with a tube top and slack little pants with pockets. I love these. And for the sake of the video, I paired it with this purse and then this blazer just to show them off. Probably wouldn't wear them all together, but individually, they're all so cute. I would pair this blazer maybe with like a little black dress and either heels or really cool sneakers. It gives a super cool oversized look and makes me immediately want to go back to New York. So that's great. 
up next we've got the motel tin tin dress i'm wearing the brown in a size six this one is so cute it's definitely a more fall vibes because of the brown look but when you live at the beach like me it's great if it's not totally cold where you are right now for the fall time and we're moving into the next outfit this is the patterson top and i'm wearing it in orange with the fallout mid-rise cargo pants in brown these were a little bit big so i'm going to return them and get one size down but the look came together so perfectly i think i would wear these with little black boots or something and maybe a little pullover jacket up next i normally wouldn't put this top with the overalls but i wanted to show off the overalls because they are my favorite i would wear them with like either a bikini underneath or like a cute little white tee i love the material and quality of this one and it has pockets too and of course the little buckles where you can leave one unbuckled if you want to next is the chloe set in brown i think this is an amazing fall transition piece because you can still wear it to the beach if you're at the beach like me with a little bikini or tank top or you can button up the top and actually wear it as a full long sleeve set it goes with everything and i recommend sizing up for this because the shorts are cute baggy and you get a bigger top to fit the oversized look the next thing is the misha set in green i'm wearing a size six also size up in this it was a little bit smaller but this definitely wins my vote for favorite outfit it's definitely going to be a date night outfit for me so it comes with the dress and then the little like short sleeve pullover thing it is so flattering so light and so cute up next we got another one of my new favorites this is the sandy mini dress in natural i'm wearing a size small medium this one fit very true to size it's a button up with pockets and it's extra flowy in the back which i love this is overall just the comfiest cute little lunch date outfit this flannel okay again probably wouldn't wear it with the dress but i had to show you with it and i was in the sequence of trying it on so we went with it this flannel is so perfect definitely a fall staple i would wear it with like jeans or jean shorts and a little tank top or even button it up all the way this is the nora cropped shirt in beige i love this one because it's a flannel but it also has a very like girly look since it's cropped and it matches perfectly with denim jeans or jean shorts but i think i could dress this up with like some black leggings and black booties as well <laughs> Up next is probably the comfiest sweater ever. This is the Benson Crop sweater in green. I'm wearing a size medium large. It comes with a hoodie and like flare sleeves and it is so cute and so soft and comfy. It feels like a blanket. I love anything with a hood, but this hood is perfect. It's like not the small hoods. It's the hood that goes over all the way and I really appreciate that. Last but not least is probably the most perfect sweater I've ever seen in my life. Look at the colors of this. You can definitely get creative with styling this outfit, so I'm gonna have to try to find something fun, but it can also just be a casual outfit with like a white tank and denim jeans or jean shorts. Even though it's technically a fall piece, I know I'm gonna be able to keep this in the springtime when it's like starting to become beach time again and I can wear it then too. So that wraps up the haul. Thank you again, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this and make sure to check out these pieces in the description after the video with code 20BRIN. What's up guys, we're in the gym as you can see. I'm gonna prop you up here. We're getting a little pre-workout and a little acupressure right here for our weight training session, getting warmed up, getting some blood flow. Cheers to a pre-workout. We got fourth quarter coming up, end of the year coming up, businesses, travel, fun, and also I am training for an event, fitness event, race, so that is gonna be demanding too. So we got a lot going on, so just to give you a little insight of what I'm doing, which I've never done before, is I'm loosely time blocking my day. It's gonna be a busy time and there's a lot going on. I need to maximize my time. So getting ready for all this, I got this. It says savage day and I've time blocked everything. It's just my ideal day and the times I want to do things. So I'm out of bed at a certain time. It's when I'm going to eat. I'm in the gym by seven. I give myself two hours to work out. I have a five hour window where I'm working on business. Also, that's going to be my lunch somewhere in there, eating somewhere in there. And then I got workout number two because I am training for a race. It is going to be physically demanding. I am going to have to work out a decent amount. Then I have a recovery time in the afternoon, sauna, ice tub, all that good stuff. And then dinner time and then sunset walk that's what we have right now i'm gonna get a little workout in the event i'm running is called high rocks it is a race similar to like a crossfit style five mile run broken up by eight exercises but stay tuned to that it's gonna be really cool i'm excited to show you guys i'm excited to train that's what the fitness is the business the travel all of that is alongside of that so we're super excited we're gonna attack it by just maximizing our time in this busy but exciting season so let's get a workout in lift some weights and then um we'll see what the rest of the day has for us let's go
right, people. people. Guess who's driving? Me. Brindley is driving. We're getting acai bowls, of course, and then we are going to Aldi because they just opened the Aldi up near us. And we are gonna shop for the week and we're gonna be making some fall recipes. And I think tonight is gonna be curry. Yeah, I found this um, Pinterest recipe that I'm gonna tweak a little bit and kind of make it my own, but I like the gist of it. It's a pumpkin curry. It's like an orange red curry. So it's fall flavored. You're bouncing. You're bouncing all over the place. It's gonna be good. So we're doing that. I also just started my period. So I have the worst crabs ever. And that's why I insisted on acai bowls. So we're excited yep. for that. I know you still overfilled. You don't know nothing. And they're here. Ooh, look at this blueberry, guys. Look how big that thing is. Cherry on top. So you mm. use the shorty and I get the yummy and I get it with almond butter instead and then I ask for the granola on the side because you can put your own amount on and it doesn't get all mushy. If you guys are in Destin, Try them. Formula Fresh, the shorty is the best thing. Oh, they even gave me a little extra look right there. Hey guys, we just got home from the grocery shop and look at all that, it's huge. So I'm gonna run you through kind of what we got for the week. I'll point. This is probably like a little bit bigger than what we normally do, but we were at Aldi and we went crazy because we love Aldi. So starting over here, we'll kind of just go from the back. Chips, obviously we always get kombuchas too. I love the ginger one. Some toasted coconut milk. Uh, we got some bananas and some oranges. And then this is like all the fruit. So we did some berries. We did papaya, we did frozen fruits, pineapple, and berries for smoothies. Then we have more oranges, um, and then, oh, this is just a Aldi find that I love. It's dark chocolate granola, which is really good. Then we're over here for the veggies. I have some pico de gallo, salsas, um, zucchini, a lot of frozen stuff for like stir fries, sweet potatoes, butternut squash for the thing I'm making tonight, bell peppers. Um, this is some type of squash I'm gonna make for a recipe avocados, onions, mushrooms, and then we have some like quinoa rice dish maker things, and some walnuts, mixed nuts, some of our meats. We usually get a lot more than this, but Aldi didn't have the best options. We just got chicken, some deli meat, and some chicken in the can. And then this is uh, stuff for tonight. It's just stuff for the curry that I'm making. And then I got tahini because Mexico reminded me how much I loved it. So I'm gonna start putting that on like pineapple and stuff. Um, just some random stuff like cauliflower chips, pomegranate juice, applesauce. I probably yeah, missed a little bit. We got some ghee to cook in. Um, and I get this every time I go to the grocery store because I put it on my hot chocolate and it's fire. More spices. And that is pretty much it. So we're gonna put all this away. Ziggy, what are you doing? Drink your water. And we'll get into the recipe tonight. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna eat a lot of this now. guys it is the next morning and I just got done walking Ziggy one of the main things I've been trying to do lately with um, steps is getting them in the morning so we usually take him for a sunset walk at night but I've been also trying to get just a little bit of steps in in the morning too even if it's 10 minutes it is so beneficial in so many ways to get sunlight in your eyes it wakes up all of your systems in your body just gets everything energized and like tells your body like it's morning it's go time so I've been doing that that was amazing we walked down by the beach and it was so pretty and he got all of his energy out so it, we're gonna have a good day fun note it's also our two-year anniversary September 13th Ooh. which we're gonna be celebrating a little bit tonight if you saw the last Cancun video we celebrated like that whole week in Mexico but that was two weeks ago, so we were celebrating early. So it's really today. I'm starting off the day by making some waffles. These are gonna be pumpkin spice waffles, but basically all I use is this paleo mix, some egg whites, and some water, and I just whip it up. I put some blueberries and pumpkin spice in there, and this is my cute little waffle maker from Amazon. It's linked in my storefront, by the way. But yeah, we're making breakfast and getting the day started. Cool. Cool. 
This is not for puppies. This pancake mix, not for puppies. Honey, we got this from a farmer's market. It is so good. It's like creamy honey and almond butter and a little bit of bee pollen that we also got from the farmer's market. And there is breakfast. I'm gonna eat these and then make Lucas's waffles for his two year anniversary breakfast too. But wow, that looks so good. with me today but anyways we're in the gym right now for a little quick pump I'm doing back and biceps today and then gonna go for a little sunshine walk outside because the puppy walk was so short I want to get a little bit more steps in Hi. getting a little pump in and a workout together is so fun it's we think of it as like a date quality time so it's a great part of our anniversary today and yeah we're hoping to get to the beach for at least like 30 minutes for a little beach swim just a couple fun things that we'd love to do um, we'll take you from there It's like low 50s right now. Ready? One, one foot after another, just don't think about, what the f <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta do one big scoop, look at, oh my gosh, put my hair in a bun. Guys, look at those toes right there. <laughs> what is going on right now in my ice tub? I never said you could do this. Ow. All right, all right, ready? Our two year anniversary, here it is. freeze but like in my whole body oh. we've made it right to dinner. the famous red onion mm. red onion it's actually a very small hole in the wall place but we caught a beautiful sunset wait let's do it alpha check alpha check princess poly dress fan shoes uh, I don't remember the purse name, but that's the fit. Okay, your turn. We got an RBCA striped shirt on. We have some, I think these pants are literally Tony Hawk pants, <laughs> and then some Air Forces. Yeah. Ziggy to 
the vet and he's at his like last drop off appointment until Hawaii, Big which time. is exciting. And then Lucas got parlor donuts and then we got Starbucks. We and don't have to talk about my parlor donuts. I literally was going to record all of it for the vlog and I totally forgot, but I took like little clips of it. So I'll put them on the screen. But this is a version of the like cold brew sweet cream pumpkin spice drink thing but it's for my dairy free girls and it's just a little bit healthier so it actually tastes amazing it's yeah it's so good it's grande cold brew with almond milk foam pumpkin spice so you have to make sure you tell them like i don't want the sweet cream i want almond milk foam frothed on top with pumpkin spice and it is so good and it's really healthy because it's just cold brew with a little bit of frothed milk it actually but, tastes like pumpkin spice without the overly sweet sugary that the other yeah. thing has amazing but we're headed back home now it's gonna be kind of a busy day we have a lot of work a lot of editing a lot of filming and then I'm gonna get my nails done with my mom because these things are crusty they've been on for way too long so I'm gonna do some type of fall nails I'm thinking like a burnt orange but we'll see um and then Ziggy gets out of his appointment then we pick up Ziggy and then we're doing it, dinner yeah, with my parents too so it's gonna be a long day I've also still got pimple patches on she That's walked good. she walked into parlor at Starbucks, the vet with pimple patches on. Oops. It wasn't the best vlogger, but I got my nails done. I was totally gonna vlog the process, but I got like this cute little fall brown tips. Ziggy, get off. Ziggy. Ziggy has a man bun right now. Look how adorable. Sorry about that. As I was saying, got my nails done. I am today packing orders from like my thrifted clothes. So I'm just selling clothes that I don't really wear anymore. I haven't worn in the past three weeks. I'm trying to kind of like declutter and make space for new clothes. So I'm gonna pack those clothes now. We're decluttering, we're getting this done and you guys can watch a little time lapse of it. Okay, you can't see any of the labels because it has people's names and addresses, but we got today's orders. I'm gonna take them to the post office and let's go. 